Are you battling a demon of addiction, tobacco, or drugs, or gambling, or the pernicious contemporary plague of pornography? Is your marriage in trouble, or your child in danger? Are you confused with gender identity or searching for self-esteem? Do you or someone you love face disease or depression or death? Whatever other steps you may need to take to resolve these concerns, come first to the gospel of Jesus Christ. Trust in heaven's promises. In that regard, Alma's testimony is my testimony. I do know, he says, that whosoever shall put their trust in God shall be supported in their trials and their troubles and their afflictions. Each of you is a unique child of God. God knows you individually. He sends messages of encouragement, correction, and direction fitted to you and to your needs. God sends messages and authorized messengers to his children. We need to turn to God. We need to reaffirm our faith and we need to reassert our hope. Where necessary, we need to repent and certainly we need to pray. I testify this morning of God's limitless love for his children of his unquenchable desire to help us heal our wounds individually and collectively. The first and great commandment on earth is for us to love God with all our heart, might, mind, and strength because surely the first and great promise in heaven is that he will always love us that way. And the Father of us all is divinely anxious to bless us this very moment. Mercy is his mission, and love is his only labor. John Donne once said, We ask our daily bread, and God never says you should have come yesterday. No, he says today. If you will hear my voice, today I will hear yours. Alma taught that remarkable truth to his son Helaman, entreating him to put his trust in God. Alma said God was quick to hear the cries of his people, quick to answer their prayers. He said to his son, I have been supported in trials and troubles and afflictions of every kind. God has delivered me. I do put my trust in him, and he will still deliver me. The work of patience boils down to this. Keep the commandments. Trust in God, our Heavenly Father. Serve him with meekness and Christ-like love. Exercise faith and hope in the Savior and never give up. Never give up. However deep the wounds of your soul, whatever their source, wherever or whenever they happen, and for how short or long they persist, you are not meant to perish spiritually. You are meant to survive spiritually and blossom in your faith and trust in God. The Savior is our Good Samaritan, sent to heal the brokenhearted. He comes to us when others pass us by. With compassion, He places His healing balm on our wounds and binds them up. He carries us. He cares for us. He bids us, Come unto me, and I shall heal you. In the crucible of earthly trials, patiently move forward, and the Savior's healing power will bring you light, understanding, peace, and hope. Pray with all your heart. Strengthen your faith in Jesus Christ, in his reality, in his grace. Hold on to these words. My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Brothers and sisters, I invite you to place all of your trust in God and in the teachings of our prophets. I invite you to renew your covenants with God, to serve Him with all your heart, 
regardless of the complex situations of life. I testify that by the power of our unwavering faith in Christ, you will become free of the captivity of sin, of doubt, of unbelief, of unhappiness, of suffering, and you will receive all of the promised blessings from our Heavenly Father.